Hello, everybody. I'm Frank Jankowiak. And to start, I will give you a short overview about the Aurix development service and portfolio of Hitex from evaluation during the development up to production and to the su support of what is included. Hitex was founded in 1976 in Karlsruhe, Germany, and is since 2003 a 100% subsidiary of the Infineon Group. Our global setup with a subsidiary in UK and many partners and distributors enables us to support you locally in nearly all regions. For example, Europe, USA, India, China, Japan. With an outstanding experience of more than 40 years in microcola technology, we have a strong focus on functional safety, embedded security, development software, uh, development services, and software tools. Hitex is a PDH, a preferred design house of Infineon. What does this mean? We are offering an extended, scalable support for your Aurix project. We support you with our established expertise and much more. From the earliest project start to choose the fitting microcontroller depending on your requirements, up to the integration and also development, and included also after sales services, with all our experience from numbers successful projects we have done in the past years. Hitex should be your first contact for Aurix hardware and software around Aurix functionality, Aurix safety and middleware topics, Aurix embedded security, as example, middleware or HSM tools, and including the complete Aurix tool chain. We offer a complete service of Aurix know-how for your ideas, projects, and products. From consulting and engineering, application development, process and security support, functional safety, and including middleware and safety libraries to achieve a functional safety certification depending on your needed standards, like the ISO 26262 for the automotive industry, or the 61508, and all the other industry standards which are required. As example, still for the aerospace industries, the DO178. This includes our hardware and production service for evaluation boards and also prototypes. Or what we're also doing is to manufacturing small production series up to a few thousand, unit, few thousand units. To start your evaluation, we have a complete offer of starter kits and also application kits, for example, for motor control, radar, hybrid packs, also a shield body, which is an Arduino compatible style for the Aurix first and second generation, adapter solutions like breakout or trace adapter, and also emulation devices. You can find almost everything in the Hitex online shop, ehitex.com. As a 100% subsidiary of Infineon, we have the direct access to Infineon and therefore some exclusive services for you, which means MCAL and safety lip customization and validation, especially for MCAL drivers and safety lips, adding new functionalities based on your requirements carry out impact analysis, requalification according to different needed standards, and also to recompile it with other compilers and versions that we can't. Complete support to get a certification is also included. This is an extract, an overview of the Aurix development tool chain we distribute to you. Compilers like tasking, debugger from PLS, middleware, real-time operating systems, performance and safety tools, such as Tasking's multi-core performance tool, code analysis, software test and system test tools, and much more. A big difference to other companies, our developers use these tools in our own projects, 
therefore we have the right experience to support you on your needs in the best manner. To come to a conclusion, if you start an evaluation with the RDS, as example, the Aurex Development Studio with some evaluation boards, in the next step, if you need to migrate to professional commercial tool set like Taskings, Compilers, EDE, if you need MCAL and safety libraries, if you need certification or tool support, development solutions, solutions, just everything around the RX development, high-tech together with our partners like Tasking are matching setup to achieve functional uh, safety certifications to achieve successful projects and in the long-term relationship we're interested to work with you. So that was my short introduction and now the next part will be presented by Mohammed from Tasking. So today in this webinar I am going to show you how you can convert, how you can migrate your project from Oryx Development Studio to a Tasking IDE. So this is a short agenda which I am going to show you now. So I will be showing what exactly the Oryx Development Studio and what are all the components and features of Oryx Development Studio and how exactly it differs from the tasking commercial offerings. And what are all the extra features you can find in our tasking ID and what are all the tips how you can convert your ADS project to a tasking ID with a small tips and tricks. So this is a small agenda which I am going to cover in this webinar. So I am sure that so most of you might be using this Oryx Development Studio. Oryx Development Studio is a free of charge ID and you can download it from the Infineon website and it is particularly for the tricore based Oryx microcontroller. So this particular ID, it, it includes a Eclipse ID, which includes a C compiler, multi-core debugger, as well as the Infineon low-level drivers. The Oryx Development Studio, you can use it for unlimited time and for unlimited code size. And in fact, I'm sure that most of you might have seen from the Infineon website, and there is also a small notice you can find out so there is a bundled tasking tool such as the compiler and debugger can be used only for non-commercial purposes. I'll show you in the next slide how exactly it differs and why, why can't you use it so for non-commercial purposes. So these are all the some features or and the components I can say from the Oryx Development Studio so Oryx Development Studio includes a complete IDE and it all also includes the components from our tasking compiler. So which version is of version 6.1 R1. And apart from that, so it also includes a component from tasking debugger with version 1.1 R1. And also it includes the Infineon driver access server and Infineon low level drivers so infineon low level drivers are developed along with the hardware development so much earlier than the software libraries so so that to provide a common software for all the infineon internal people and also for the external customers so by means of this oryx development studio you can have a complete management of the tool chain where you can do a build settings and you can do a configurations on your build and in fact so you have an option to do a custom project creation wizard also and apart from the so some features so do you also have additional features available in the oryx development studio where you have an option called a so project metadata editor so metadata functions so which allows you to embed your useful information into your project source code. So I will also show you in the demo part to what exactly the metadata function contains. And also you have an access to your high quality examples. So from the GitHub, Infineon GitHub directly. 
okay so where you can make use of this and you can have a so complete documentation about the quick expert as well as a quick learning guide as well as expert learning guide you have it is also available and from the oryx development studio you have an option to directly access the documentation so you no need to go separately in order to access the documentation from the oryx development studio id itself so you can go to the documentation part and these are all the some supported hardware available in oryx development studio where you can see you have a complete uh, list about the oryx uh, first generation so in fact you can also see from this june so oryx development studio have an option to support for the oryx second generation also which includes uh, all the you can see the series which includes the oryx tc375 and apart from this other series so this is just a overview of our oryx development studio i am sure that most of you might have been using this oryx development studio and you might have downloaded it from the infineon website for your first generation and if you want to make use for the second generation and from this june onwards it is also available in the oryx development studio and in this particular slide i just want to show you what exactly the difference you can find in uh, in the tasking and what all the limitations so what all the things which is not available in the oryx development studio so actually in oryx development studio so there is a no support for mcal so microcontroller abstraction layer so it is a software module so that directly access the on chip microcontroller peripheral modules and external devices so that are mapped to memory and it makes the upper software layer independent of the microcontroller so that is not available in ads and you have a limited feature set so i can say that so so you have a c compiler language support and and if you want to have a c++ support so it is also available from this month onwards in ads and as i already shown in the first slide so this particular oryx development studio can be used only for non commercial use only so just to have a understanding about the oryx architecture and how you can build your application you can make use of this oryx development studio for a non commercial use and if you want to make use for a commercial use and you need to have a complete tasking id so in ads so it can be used only with the eclipse environment as i already mentioned so this is one of the components in the ads so it can be used only with the eclipse environment and if you are doing some kind of a automated testing and if you want to run from a command line so that option is not available and that is available with the tasking id so as i already mentioned so in ads so there are component from the tasking compiler which is a version 6.1.1 r1 and the tasking debugger which is a one version 1.1 r1 so it means that so it is a no aspy cl2 compliant tool chain and if you want to have a aspy compliant tool chain then you need to make use of our tasking vx tri code tool set so in our tasking tri core version from version 6.2 or 2 and up so it is a aspy cl2 compliant and obviously you can make use it is suited for the development of highest safety integrity level up to sld and in fact so there are limited examples available in the github for the application kits and the high tech shield body boards and and if you want to make use of the application example projects for the tri board it is not available in ads as of now and if you want to comply your source code with respect to misra c or as well as for a cert c guidelines it is not supported in ads whereas it is supported in the tasking id i will show you that one later in the demo part and if you really want to make use of a c11 language support it is not supported in ads so that's why so if you want to really want to make use this one in a commercial offerings and you can make use of our 
tasking tricore so tasking vx tricore tool set and from the oryx development studio so directly and if you want to make use for the commercial offerings and you can have an you can directly go to the help menu from the help menu and you have an option to contact our team so in order to make use for your commercial offerings so just you need to click on the get full tasking vs tool set for a tri core and you need to fill your small details including the name just phone number and the company details country once if you submit it and our team will contact you and will provide you with a complete commer commercial tool set and if you are already working with the oryx development studio and if you want to migrate your project to your tasking id tasking vx tool set and if you want to have a complete documentation you can also find in our website resources.tasking.com which having a complete documentation which give you details about the complete libraries about the settings all these things you can find in our tasking vx tool set for oryx development studio user guide so it is uh, directly accessible and you just you need to visit our website under the resources section and you can find this guide so as i already mentioned so tasking vx tool set from version 6.2 r2 and up it is a aspice level 2 compliant so i'm sure that most of you might be knowing so automotive spice is a framework for designing and assessing the software development process usually the automotive spice process assessment model contains a set of indicators to be considered when interpreting the intent of auto automotive spice process reference model and you can see so these are the process reference model which has been fully achieved and you can see the capability level also so by this way you can see our tasking so tasking vx tricode tool set is a, or developed using a spice level 2 compliant process and if you need more evidence about our additional qualification for your higher asil levels we also have a comp tasking compiler qualification kit so in this particular kit so we will be providing a safety manual where we will show you how you can configure the tool chain for your safety related applications and we'll also be providing some kind of a reference use case and the mitigation strategies for the potential errors and also we'll be providing validation of the software tool qualification method where we'll be providing some kind of a scripts and instructions so that you can get a more confidence of our compiler tasking compiler qualification kit so tasking has been achieved the best spice assessment so it has been assessed by the auditor and a spice confirm it is a basis for all the safety related software development so you can see the complete process has been fully achieved with the capability level so that's why so if you want to make use for the commercial offerings you can make use of a tasking tasking vx trico tool set from version 6.2 r2 and up so if you are already if you are using a oryx uh, architecture and if you don't have a hardware ready for you and if you want to understand the architecture in terms of a register and if you want to analyze the particular registers and in tasking we have an option called a tri core instruction set simulator even if you don't have a hardware ready or even if you don't have a hardware in hand so at that time in order to understand the peripheral function so peripheral register function for the assembly and you can make use of other tasking instruction set simulator so it is not it is nothing but a reprogrammable simulation environment so for configuring the versions of a tri core based chip so this particular tsim which is a tri core instruction set simulator it is very useful for your development tool so the for the functional analysis for the for in order to your debugging for a performance analysis and you can do a trade off analysis so once if you are once if you are done with this particular simulation so you will be also be providing a tsm output which will give the complete statistics of your application 
and the same way so you can so analyze this particular thing so general purpose timer up to eight program events so you can able to analyze and you can also analyze a watchdog timer where usually it is used to recover from a hardware or a software file and we have a system timer so which provides a global system time and if you see about the debug configurations available you can see under the debug configuration of ads you don't have an option for a instruction set simulator whereas in the tasking once if you want to make it for your commercial offerings and even if you don't have a hardware in hand ready at that time you can analyze the things on the instruction set simulator which is available on the debug configurations of your project so you can see so the tricore 1.6x instruction set simulator is available and if you see about the properties of your project and on the so ads properties you can see so tasking c compiler tasking assembler tasking linker and if you see about the properties under the tasking so you can see a lot of tab options available you can see with respect to optimization you can find more in detail about the optimization and if you want to comply your source code with respect to misra or a cert and if you want to verify your source code and if you want to do a, some kind of a static analysis in order to comply with that of a misra or a cert standard at that time you have an option called so you can select from this tab misra whereas you have a misra 2012 option misra c 2004 option and if your project is using a old misra c compliant 1998 you have an option to do that also and if you very much related to your safety security part of our cert if you want to comply with that of a cert secure coding cert c security coding at that time you have an option to select that also and if you want to play more with your linker file at that time and if you want to generate an output format so which you need an additional output format at that time you have an option on the linker tab and we in tasking so there is a stand alone script debugger is also available so apart from that so one debugger is already included in the eclipse environment and there is also a stand alone script debugger and if you are if you are doing some kind of a automated testing or if you are doing some kind of a continuous integration process at that time if you want to make use of this stand alone script debugger you can make use of that it is not a gui based debugger and some steps you need to follow on this in order to run this script debugger just you need to create a small script which is which we had also mentioned how to, how you can script how you can write a script we had also mentioned in our user guide and just you need to test the correctness of the script using the script debugger in the interactive mode which is a graphical user interface mode and once the script is correct accordingly you have an option to run it from a command line possibly from a batch file so for example even uh, if most of them if you are doing some kind of automated testing and if you don't want to make use of the eclipse ide so and if you want to do some kind of a headless build at that time you can also run it from a command line so usually the command line build option is used in batch files or a script which is used for a automated automated testing or a building purpose and if you want to have a, some kind of a less memory usage at that time you will go for a command line option and if you if the you if you you are very familiar with the command line and this type of interface is much faster than any other type and this about the small steps so how you can directly take your project of ads and by doing a small settings and how you can do a so how you can create a project and how you can take a complete your ads project to a tasking id and how you can build it i'll show you in the demo part and some steps you need to consider you need to create a new project and you need to select the target so depending upon your application and you need to disable your startup code why because the startup code is already included in the so ads project and you need to so disable this particular two files so the C already the startup files and the so sync on halt is already included in the ads so that's why you need to disable this one 
So usually the startup code consists of uh, components like initialization code. So where is the code is executed when the program is initiated before the main function, before the main function is called, and you will have an exit code where it controls the close down of the application after the program's main function, and you have some kind of a trap vector table. And you also have a synchronization a halt where the synchronization a halt facility is to bring about the coherency about the pipeline and the catch behavior. And just you need to copy the complete folders from your ADS to a tasking ID and you need to select your linker script file. And just you need to you no need to include this special so function register file which is uh, just you can disable this one and you can default set the optimization to set to zero and if you want to do sometimes if you want to make use of that at that time you can uh, increase the optimization you can change the optimization level and the same way you can also set a value to zero in in this particular allocation threshold for putting data in the near function where it will uh, allocate based on your function near and far so these are about the steps and and i will show you the demo part now and how you can take the oryx development project into a tasking ide and how you can build it and i will show you uh, the demo part now so i am sure that so most of you might have installed this one and as i already mentioned and if you want to get in touch with our team in order to make use for your commercial offerings so directly you can go to that get help uh, get full tasking just you need to click on that automatically so it will get opened so you can see on the internet so just you need to fill some of the information and our team will be in touch with you and if you want to make it for the for commercial offerings and this I'm using for a uh, so latest of uh, ADS version, and you can find that one. And the same way, so you can see if I want to create a new project, just go here and just click on a new Oryx project. Just I will mention that as a testing part. And just if I click on the next part, and you can see, so. So this all the device which has been included the first gen device which has been included and if you want to select directly from the board if you had uh, if you had connected a so shield buddy board so once if you select the shield buddy from the board option and automatically the device will get selected and you can give a full set and you have an option you can see there is a reduce set as well as the full set and you can click on the finish button so this way you can create a new project. So directly you can create a new project, but what I am going to do now. So from the Oryx development studio. So whenever if you go to the Infineon website, you can see. So there are there is a GitHub examples available. And if you want to import the particular example. So directly you have an option file and you can go to the import option. And you have an option to select the Oryx Development Studio project. Just you can select on the next and you can see the part now. You can see the complete GitHub. So Infineon code uh, repository examples. And if you want to include import it to a tasking and if you have some of the local code uh, repository examples available or if you and some of the for Infineon internal it is available. And for example, if I want to make use of uh, you can see the various example available to so blinky what I will do now I will just take a blinky lady for this one and just I will give a finish part now. Whereas you can see the complete so the progress bar where it will show you the project has been importing so from the Infineon code repository example now you can see so it is showing as an active the project is showing as an active one as i already mentioned so there is a metadata function 
for example if you click on this metadata function you can see so if you want to include if you want to embed useful information into your project source code you have an option to do that and the same way and you have an option to include you can go to the documentation directly so directly it will show you the documentation part you can see so there is a blinky so it will show you the documentation part here and if you go to the properties one and you can see here so there is a blinky led just i took a basic example about the blinky led option and if i and if you go to the properties you can see the various properties you can see the properties you can just you need to click on the tab part and you can preprocessing option what all the include path which has been taken from the so how you can uh, initialize the peripherals so uh, with ield all this path has been included here and about the language so you can see so ixoc99 has been selected and you can see the complete thing so floating point debugging option optimization part all these things and the same way so you can see the map file diagnostic all these things have been included and you can just apply and close here and you can start building your project so you can see the project is going to build now so these are directly i took an example so from the infineon code repository so which is a github example and directly you can see which has been built and if you want to debug the configuration and so directly you have an option so so directly you can see so there is a you need to select the board and what is a so for example if you had connected a shield body board and you don't have an option for the simulator here and even only thing is you need to have a shield so you need hardware board evaluation board you need to have connected so then only you can able to analyze your application so by this way you can debug the things and once if you fly so once if you debug it so i can see the blinking of the so this one the same way so i had make use of uh, so lot of examples and once if you start debugging and you can see the blinking of the led for your particular tricode 237 series what i will do now so i am going to take a same project into a tasking id and you can see it is available here in my folder oryx development studio so so it is available here dot zohair and i can see all this file here and just i will copy all the files what i will do now i i will just try to open the tasking so id and you can see so new and you have an options to include the tasking tricore project and i will just give as a so tasking 237 example i'll just select as an empty project then i'll just give next and i'll select a, you can see the various processor list available here you can, in fact you can see the oryx second generation also available with that so since uh, i am taking example of a 237 just i will take a 237 example i don't want to include the startup file which is already been included in a so oryx development studio and i'll just uh, give next for this one okay so you can see just if you give you can see an options for a instruction set simulator also and just if you give finish on that part and you can see this one so what i will do now and if i go to here and if i see 6.3r1 i have this so project which has been created now so 36 i'll copy all the files i'll copy from here oryx development studio control a control c i'll do i'll give here control. 
Okay, all these things have been included here. And if I go to the properties option, and just if I go to the properties option, and if you go to the settings, just I'll give the verbose option. And I need to include the, so if I go to the C++ compiler option, and you need to include the path. You need to include the path from the tasking. So from the ADS to tasking, I'll just copy this one. And the same way, so I had selected some of the things. Allocation, I will select it as a zero part. I don't want to so place anywhere in the A0 memory or this one. And I'm going to give optimization as a none part. And the same way. And I'll uh, make use of the so script file, so which is available from the tasking core. Just give OK. And if you see about that, so already, so I will just refresh it here so that all the project which has been copied, it has been refreshing and you can see already, the sync dot so is included, so I will delete that one. And if I do the thing, so this is the same way you can. So this is for the, and the same way. So I'll just make it as a active for this one. So since I had been uh, so connected to a shield buddy. So I will just make use of the build project. So these are the basic things. So just you need to build the project. So what all the tips and tricks I had shown here. So just you need to fill it and automatically you can see. So these are. And you can see the ELF file which has been created. You can see the ELF file which has been created here. So by this way, you can, for example, if you want to analyze, so if you want to comply with the, with respect to this one, you can see, and if you want to comply your source code with respect to Misra, and you have an option to select that Misra option, just disable this one, supported, I'll just, and the same project, if I try to rebuild again, you can see, Now you can see the lot of uh, so violations before that. So it was uh, you can see the lot of violations with respect to this one. And if you want to debug it. Uh, to your this one to your board, just click on that debug configuration. And if you had connected to a so shield buddy, you can select the this one. And if you're directly connected to this one, just you can directly debug it. So since I have been uh, I have been complying my source code with respect to Misra, so that's why it is showing that one. What I will do now, I'll just try to remove it. So properties, I'll just uh, make it as a disabled one. So you can uh, debug it now. You can see, so it has been able to so linking all this thing and it is going to the so debugger stage. You can see the complete core, all these things, and just if you start and automatically the blinking of LED will happen. So by this way, so you can see, so the toggling of LED is happening. If you connect to a target board, the state of the LED is toggled with the function. So this is about the complete thing, how you can uh, convert your uh, ADS project to a tasking ID. 
and the last part is so the, apart from that so we are uh, as uh, most of them might be knowing we are not only into compiler we have a complete product portfolio we have a embedded profiler so for in order to show you the performance bottleneck we have a new pro product so which is a multi core performance tool in order to do a core core analysis as well as auto score load analysis as well as auto analysis so the our new product has been released already and if you are working on uh, any of the heavy math applications or adas application we have a uh, performance libraries to boot to boost your application and in order to detect the interference between software elements with different asil levels we have a safety checker and we have a compiler qualification kit also so as i already mentioned we have a so new tool multi core performance tool which has already already been released on june 2nd and we have a webinar tomorrow for the both emea and the india region at this time 10 am i'm sure most of you might have registered for this also and for the america region we have on 16th where tomorrow we'll also be showing how you can configure and running the mcpt part and the demonstration how you can do a balanced core load using our tasking multi core performance tool and more in detail about that you can find here so about the useful link and more in detail about the sales part you can contact us and you can contact the high techs team and this is so this uh, if you want more in detail about that and you can get in touch with high techs as well as with the tasking team